making puppets. We made wooden spoon puppets. And we'll show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need a wooden spoon. Once you have your spoon, you decorate it. You need to draw on the face. You can also use googly eyes if you'd like. You can draw on eyes, a nose, and a mouth. I'm using glue to glue on googly eyes. Very important. Don't get a spoon from your kitchen unless you ask an adult if it's okay. You can use anything you have around the house, like newspaper or fabric. Now I'm gonna add some hair, but I'm gonna cut it first. I wanna make a golden tie for my guy. You can make animal puppets, fairy tale puppets. You can make a family of spins. I'm making my yellow shirt. It might be a little tricky to color around the spoon, but that's okay, it will still look good. Almost done. Voila, my done puppet. I want his name to be, let's see, Daniel. My puppet's name is Amanda, and she's a princess that lives in the castle. If you don't have a wooden spoon, you can use a plastic spoon like this. These are the puppets we made today. We also made these, and today we are going to show a puppet show for you. Presenting Little Red Riding Hood. Bye, Mom. Oh, here I go into the woods. Well, hello there. Ah! Mother said not to talk to strangers, and you are very scary. Do not be scared. Well, I'm going to my grandmother's house, so I better hurry. Bye! Ah! I gotta get there first. <laughs> oh my, that was such an adventure. Wow, Grandma! What big eyes do you have? All the better to see you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big ears do you have? All the better to hear you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big nose do you have? All the better to smell you, my dear. Oh, Grandma, what big mouth do you have? All the better to eat you, my dear. Ah! Wait a second, no way. You're not eating me. If you're hungry, you can eat some of my cookies. Here you go. Thank you. Nom, nom, nom. The end. Hero City. Hero City. Let's make a small city for our action figures. Pow, whoosh, pow, whoosh, bang. The things you need to build a hero city are tissue boxes, construction paper, markers, and tape. Tissue boxes. The tissue boxes will be our buildings. Construction paper. Draw the buildings on the construction paper. Hmm, what should we draw? I'm making an ice cream parlor. I'm drawing a school. I'm making a tape loop. To make a tape loop, you have to take the unsticky part and put it on the sticky part. Ta-da! Assemble the building. Take the construction paper on the tissue box. Press the paper onto the tissue box. Let's draw all our different buildings. Skyscraper. Fire station. Bank. An apartment building. Post office. Pizza parlor. Now you have your buildings. <laughs> Hero City, here we come. Time to play. Someone's eating all the ice cream. Help! Pow! Whoosh! Pow! We'll save all the ice cream in Hero City. Yes, we saved the ice cream. It's time to sneak into the bank. No one's Not so fast! Oh no, the villain. We have to protect everyone. 
I'm on a mission. Let's go. Bing, bing, wee, bing, bing, wee, bing, bing, wee. Let's hop in the car. Let's go. Up, up, and away. Pow, bang, crash, bam. Here we go. Time to fly. Hero City. Hero City is safe again. Until tomorrow. <laughs> Presenting the Flower Fairies. Bounce, bounce, twist, 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 fly. Bounce, bounce, twist, twist, fly. We made flower fairies. And we're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. This is how you make a flower fairy. First, you need a doll pin. Then you're going to draw your doll's face. You can make your face however you want. I put on two eyes, a nose, and a smiley face. The next step is to make your skirt. We're using lots of leaves and flowers and petals. You can get these in your backyard or at a garden shop. Ask an adult to cut two holes through the middle of the flower so that these two ends of the doll pin can fit. And then you just slide it on. It's a skirt made out of flower petals. Then you're going to take a marker and you're going to color your top. But I'm going to color my body orange. I'm making dots on mine. Beautiful. My body is done. And my body is done too. The next thing we're going to do is add fairy wings. We're using two fake leaves, but you can use real leaves if you want. To stick them on, use tape. I'm gonna stick the wings on the back of my fairy. To do that, I'm folding tape in half so it will stick onto the leaves and to my fairy. Done. Now I'm gonna decorate my fairy. You can actually use anything you want to decorate. You can put on ribbons, you can put on tissue paper, you can put on fabric. Once you're done decorating, you're ready to play. I wish I had someone to go to the flower festival with me. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, hi, what's your name? I'm Lily the Bouncy Fairy. My name's Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Are you going to the flower festival today? Sure. Let's go. How to make a fire-breathing dragon. This is my fire-breathing dragon. I named him Flame. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. The first step into making a fire-breathing dragon is to get an empty toilet paper roll. After you've gotten that, you get some construction paper and you wrap it around like this. Any color you want. And then you get a little tape and tape it. Then add the flames. You get some ribbons of your choice and you tape them to the inside of your dragon. Here's a tip. If you want your dragon to blow out more fire, stick more to the top than to the bottom. You can use anything you want, including ribbons, yarn, other types of streamers. Put them in any way you want. You can put some in the bottom, put some on the top. You can change the color. You can cut some paper out. You can really do anything you want with this dragon. I'm gonna put different colors of streamers in and make it look cool. <laughs> After this, you can decorate it any way you want. Here are some I made earlier. You can add glitter or any kind of decoration. Then you can add a face. I'm gonna put some pom-poms that are blue and green. I'm gonna put some googly eyes on them. Remember, you can do anything you want with this. You can attach them with glue, which is probably better for the pom-poms. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes it's easier to put the glue on the toilet paper roll than putting the glue on the pom-poms. Then you need to add two little things for his nose. You can use beads, coffee beans, smaller pom-poms, or buttons, or whatever you want. And I'm gonna put some glue on the bead first. Wait for the glue to dry. And that's how you make your fire-breathing dragon. Dragon, dragon, I want your jewels. No way, mister! Go away! No, no, no! Well, well then, can you at least touch my marshmallow? Sure, if that's what you want. Thank you. Yummy, yummy. Would you like a bite? Sure. It's so yummy. Yes, it is. I love marshmallows, but I love my drools more. But you can have the rest. Thank you. Rom, nom, 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 nom. How to make an ocean in a bag. Look at my sparkly ocean. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need to squeeze some hair gel into a bowl. It's really gooey. Yep, very gooey. Then you wanna drop some blue food coloring into the gel. Just put in a few drops. You can always add more if you want to. Then you mix the food coloring and the hair gel together. Once your water is mixed, you're ready to make the rest of your ocean. First, you'll need a plastic bag. I'm adding some rice to make it look like sand. Now I'm gonna add some sea animals. Me too. I'm gonna add a little pink crab. I'm adding a turtle and a cute little fishy. These are just little plastic toys. You can use plastic grass for seaweed or kelp. I'm gonna use some cray paper for seaweed. Me too. If you want to, you can scrunch some of your paper up to make it look more like seaweed. I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter. I like sparkly water. Important tip, do not put anything sharp in the bag. If you do, it will pop the bag. Once you have everything inside, then it's time to put your water in. Can you hold the bag for me? Sure. Ooh, it's goopy. Can you hold my bag open? Sure. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need. And then you have to seal the bag. There you go. And then you mush stuff around. Oh, it feels like cool water on a hot day. It feels so mushy and fun. You just keep squishing to mix everything together. I put in a manta ray, some seaweed, and a dolphin. It really looks like the ocean, just much more sparkly and glittery. Swim, Mr. Turtle, swim. And, and that's, that's how you make an ocean in a bag. How to make jiggly tea jellies. Do you want some dinner, baby jellyfish? Yeah, let's go get them. I'm gonna get some fish. I'm gonna get some octopus. We made jiggly wiggly jellyfish. And we're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, we're gonna make our Papa Jellyfish. First, you need a bowl. Ask an adult to poke a hole in the bowl so you can thread your yarn through. The reason why you're doing this is so that you can hang your jellyfish up on the wall or just play with it. And then pull it out almost all the way. When you're done with that, you're going to tape it so that it can stay. Tape it on the inside so no one can see. And so that you can hang it like this. After that, what you're going to do is you're going to take markers or crayons and color the bowl with it so that your jellyfish can have some decoration. You can use any colors you want. 
I'm going to use a red. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pink crayon and I'm going to um, color on top of the red marker so that it's very colorful and bright. I think the coolest thing about jellyfish is they get tentacles and so they can spin you. And the last color I'm going to add is green. You can decorate it any way you want to. Like she decorated it with squiggles and lines. And I just decorated it and colored it all the way. You can draw hearts, you can draw smiley faces, you can draw anything you want on it to just make it look pretty. And so what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna take two googly eyeballs and you're gonna use about this much glue. And then you're gonna stick it on the circle that we drew on the plate. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dark green to draw a smiley face. Jellyfish don't really have eyes, but they are cute. When you're done with all that decorating, you've got only half of your jellyfish done. Now we're gonna move on to the tentacles. You can use um, ribbon, you could use cut up newspaper strips, you can use cut up magazine strips, you can really use anything you want. Right here we have ribbon and shred paper. And we also have yarn. I'm going to put a blue piece. And you can use glue or tape to stick it on, but if you want it to dry faster, you should use tape. Once you've got your tentacles on, you've made your Jiggly Wiggly Papa Jellyfish. Don't they look awesome? Ooh, it's so jiggly! Cause jellyfish don't have bones! <laughs> Come on, jellies, let's go! Shh! How to make a Halloween bat! Boo! <laughs> I'm so excited to go trick-or-treating! Me too! Mama, Mama, I want to go trick-or-treating. I'm not sure. Yeah, but the moon is out. It's and full. And the ghosts are out. Oh. It's the perfect Halloween day. Okay. Well, only because it's Halloween. Woo Let's go. Wee. We made our own Halloween bats. We're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. Here's how you make a Halloween bat. First, you need toilet paper tubes. Then you'll need some paper of any color. You want the paper to be about the size of your toilet paper tubes. You're gonna wrap the paper around the toilet paper tube. Then you're gonna tape the edges of the paper together so it will stay wrapped around. Then you're gonna draw on your face. I'm gonna draw eyes, fangs, and a mouth. I'm gonna draw eyes and just fangs. There, I made the face for that. Don't put your face too close to the top because you're gonna need space for the ears. The next step is to add your wings. You're gonna need another piece of paper. Then, you're gonna kind of make a fan. You're gonna fold on one side and then fold on the other. And then just keep doing that. Just keep folding back and forth until you get a fan. Once you have your fan, it will look like this. There, I made one. Then you fold your fan in half. Then you're gonna take the inside of the wing together. There, I have a wing. So do I. Then your wings get taped onto your bag. Then you add another wing to the other side. These bats might be really good for a Halloween party. I made my other wing. I got my other wing on and it's balancing. One last step, the ears. Just press down the middle of your toilet paper tube. That's the best part about Halloween. You just make stuff up. And that's how you make a Halloween bat. Ooh. Three, two, one. We love playing astronaut. 
and we're going to show you how to make space sand so you can play too. The first thing you need to make space sand is a big bowl. The first ingredient you need is three cups of flour. I'm going to dump the flour in the bowl. The next thing you need is gelatin, one cup of gelatin. I'm dumping the gelatin in. The gelatin color is red, and that will make your sand red too. And now we're going to mix it together. The red and the white are coming together. It's starting to look sandy. It's starting to turn into a light red, almost like a light pink. There are little pieces of red and white in it. Next, I'm going to add some glitter. You can put as much glitter as you want. Now we're going to make a hole in the middle to put baby oil in. It feels very soft. Now we're going to add a half a cup of baby oil. This is just regular baby oil. Now I'm going to put the baby oil into the hole. Whoa. And then you mix. <laughs> it feels so mushy. It feels very hard, but it feels also a little bit wet. You could just squeeze it. You could squeeze it like actual sand. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It's really cool because you can mold it into any shape you want. Or just play with it. Rover, coming through the red sand. Look, Astronaut One, I found a volcano. Astronaut One, we have discovered red sand. Landing in three, two, one. And that's, that's how you make space sand. How to make your own city. Vroom, vroom. We made our own city today. We're playing with cars and roads. We're going to show you how to do it so you can play too. Beep, beep, beep. The first thing that you need to make your own city is masking tape. Let's get building. You can make your roads to go up furniture so you can make a hill. We use crayons to draw lines down the tape like a road. I'm going to put roads inside the town square so you can go anywhere you want without having to go around it. After that, we're going to add some trees. We made the trunk with paper towel roll and we made the leaves with tissue paper. And then we added some building. We do the buildings on some construction paper. I'm going to put the post office right over where the school is. You can use blue construction paper to make a lake. I added a school because I thought it would be really cool to drive a school bus. <laughs> I like this road through the forest. It's so pretty to drive through the trees. Beep, beep. <laughs> Oh, there's so much traffic. This, this is, is our city. city.